Welcome back guys to East 8, Lacrimosa of Dana. Well, last episode we headed back out exploring with the grip gloves to find a beach with Kathleen awaiting. Able to now improve our weapons as a smithy is her trade, the extra manpower allowed us to open up new unknown terrain. What deadly things could be awaiting us here? Alright, so that's the Yuppa habitat this way. Definitely. Is that a Hyupper or is this a Hyupper? What the hell are these things? Doesn't matter, as long as I've got my charge strategy. Now that hurt. Huh? What happened? Oh, there are Hyuppers. Grass Hyuppers. Crickets looking things. These- Oh my goodness gracious! The hell did that thing hit me for? Right, we got Eagle Lancer skill now. Did I get one? Cool. Oh, wait, I've got a kiting strategy in it, enacted. Oh, it's even more key uppers now. Did I get him? Drak Ram has been spurt. In the meantime, I'm going to try to nuke these, but they're going to kill him in the meantime. Arc shot has been spurt. But no, more! What's best against these guys? Ah! 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 I can keep going. I think this strategy was working better. Phew! Clear the pack of yuppers, they were randomly harder. Yikes! Randomly a strong enemy appeared. Did I walk in strong territory and didn't even realize? Probably. And that's after upgrading my stuff, you know? It's fine. I got this. Right. My turn now. Crazy key uppers. Ah, oh, it's so easy to just use multiple characters as well. The game really actually encourages it. Warrior still has been obtained. Unlike other games. Where you really do feel like you want to use one character. I don't know, it doesn't feel so much as Adol is full main oh, character. Does that sound there. weird? Right there. All right, so this takes me back right to there. here, but there's nothing I can lower down to enable my path. I'm going through. You can't stop me. I don't want to find any more heapers anymore either. Go away with that. Right, back to the Great River Valley as something attacks me as soon as I enter. I need to go and actually make some food at camp, I feel. And also, making another potion with that bottle now free would not be a bad idea. Huh? Pick focus rolling then. Can't see what's up ahead. Do you think it's safe to continue on? We just gotta be careful as all. Yeah, just careful. That'll be fine. Did you hear that too? What's after us? Something over there by looking things. Right 
Level 42, Giga Talantus. What the hell? It's not fighting us, we're fine. Right, so we do have randomly high level enemies on board. Oh my goodness, it's coming for me. How when did it see me? How when did it see me? It's still chasing us! Run! Let's just get out of here! <laughs> I was so worried it was gonna actually jump over. What the hell? Right, so there's a mechanic where I actually have to dodge stuff too. High level enemies, the way it jumps. It wasn't after me for a bit. Then it was after me. Range can it see from then? Essentially, it doesn't want you going that way. It needs you to go this way. Okay. Oh, boggy. I'm gonna drown. Well, you can't go this way. We are bogged down. Does that mean we've gotta proceed with the monster following us? Or can I bash through here somehow? This waterfall itself is an entrance to the area. You didn't see me, didn't see me, didn't see me, didn't see me, didn't see me. <gasps> so totally saw me. Oh, something's there. Something's trying to kill me. I have a question. Yeah. Which direction is it trying to attack me from? Can I? Can I make it go into the bog? I'm just gonna leg it! I think it's finally stopped chasing us, leaving one zone. I went all quiet, like Ted's like, uh, I thought we were done for. That beast looked like the one that's chasing me when I ran into you guys. No, that's way bigger. Set bigger, faster, and madder. Yes! As far as I'm concerned, you and this island are both mad. Yeah, <laughs> got me there. Oh. Yeah, he pooped a bit, didn't he? I don't think we can finish it off, even with caffeine's upgrades. Aw, oh, come on. I'm not saying the quality of our weapons is to blame. I just think we should avoid trying to fight that thing for now. Yeah, no need to push ourselves, yeah. That's this discretion better form of valor, yeah. Might be wise to look for a way to get round it. We need to be careful when we're going through that fog. I say oil. <laughs> so by the look of it, we've got to find a way to pass through... The, uh, the swamp without getting bogged down or drowning. These are the important things after all. I love this attack. Alright, so where does this bring me out? I've already taken that, okay. Well, there's a lot of places to go, to be fair. Chest down there. This is where I walk right into the dinosaur's face. I managed to get the chest, at least. Right there. So this is on a lower diner floor. Which is nice. 
A lightning amulet obtained. Somehow I don't think that's going to help me. Yeah, definitely best skill. Because it's such a rushing skill as well. And I've leveled it up to level 2 because of overuse. Olive sees high level enemy, Olive says no. Yeah, of course, it's level 42. Maybe I can dodge around it and be really good. But oh, by the look of it, it one hit is not going to do me well, is it? <laughs> that said, I keep meeting things that mashes me now. Oh, it bounced back and got me. It bounced back and got me. Oh my god. The bounce back. Even an enemy a couple of levels above us can really mess with us. So that's interesting. But we found someone. Hello. I know this is not where I'm supposed to be going. The women. Let's call out to... It's the nun. Oh well, is she going to that cave? It's dangerous to go there alone. Let's chase after. Alright. Do I follow the nun into an obviously high level area? Or do I continue with the main quest? Huh. Who'd have thought there'd be a cave here? The question is, I need to know what level these monsters are. This area is so dark. I feel like I might slip and fall any second. We might need a light source before we venture further. Jeez, this place gives you the willies. Once you find that area, let's get the hell out of here. Thank you, oh lord. Huh? Oh, there she is. Judging from her tie, she appears to be a nun. What on earth is she doing? Yeah, come to the village. Were you passengers aboard the Lombardia? Yes, we were. Nia! Nia! Oh lord, thank you for your divine protection. I'll explain the situation to Sister Nia. I see. So we're completely isolated from the rest of the world. Time to come with us, honestly. I am Sister Nia, servant of the church. Please allow me to assist you all. I suppose that's alright, but... Why did you come to such a dangerous place all by yourself? You could have died here if the worst occurred. Blessed be the fruit which ripens in times of tribulation, so says the Lord. I came here for this. The nun reveals a mushroom. You came in here for that? I mean, that looks delicious, yeah. Indeed it does. It's large enough to sate my hunger as well. My word, that's besides the point. You really should have gone somewhere less dangerous to forage for food. By coming here, I was precisely where I needed to be so that you could save me. It's without question proof that the Lord has answered my prayers. Thanks be to God. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> She's got some spunk for a nun. Right, Adol called Fadogi and had him safely escort near to Castaway Village. We got one more. For going off the beaten track as well, which is the best bit. Level, yep, level 24, level 24. Back it, back it out. Not going this way yet. Also, it's told us to get a light, so it's basically saying, this part of the game is not for you yet. So with that said and done, we already got this. Let's get out of here. Maybe found her a little bit early, hopefully. Which would be very nice. Alright, let's drop down. Set myself a treasure chest that's just lying right here. Sweet pepper times five. Hopefully a big HP restorative. Hello, where'd you come from above? Oh. Lucky. How did they miss? Huh. 
Alright, well, we need to continue to level and grind up at this point. Let's go! Thing's not the best of its aim. I'll do him. Right. My turn now. Where to next? Yeah. To the beach. I'm just using skills to finish things quickly now. It's working really well as well. Is that banana? I get the break. Oh, hello. Like, like. A sand gator. My turn now. Lovely. Very like, like remindy. It's a sweet pepper, I take it. No, it's a mango. I need more mangoes. All right, this is some of the materials we're after. Look at all this washed up debris. That's your record from the ship. I might be able to use some of this stuff for the captain's watch there. Yeah, she might be right. Bit of the lumber? Not a bad idea. I guess just kind of mark the location for now and then work on things after that. Silly gigantic dinosaur. And the fact that I have to map out everywhere. It looks like I haven't mapped out that, you know what I mean? Bit worried that a dino might be waiting for me here. This isn't a volcanic island, is it? Huh? Look. Over there. Would appear to be another castaway. Let's go. Excuse me. Hello. That man just ignored me when I tried to speak to him. Yeah, well, some people are like that. See here, were you a passenger aboard the Lombardia? We were passengers too, and now we're stranded on this deserted island. Not my problem. Huh? Hey! Hold on. <laughs> Where do you think you won? Yeah, won't you at least hear us out? Come on. Eventually. Tell us your name. Hummel. I'm a transporter. Like the movies? <laughs> it's such a vague profession, like adventurer. doesn't beat around the bush. I don't know about that. I very much doubt he's interested in anything we have to say. Well, we're heading the same way. I'm sure we'll run into him again. <laughs> Transporter, huh? What an odd kid. You don't get to call others odd. At any rate, the sun has begun to set. We should look for a place to make camp. I'm guessing that cave is going to do. It's a bit worried for a second. They might decide to, uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to put myself, my back to a wall when that dinosaur could just take a stroll to the beach. That would suck. Is 
This area seems to be free of beasts, Mr. Kristen. Ah, uh, we should probably step camp here, don't you think? Nope. I'd be like, no. Nope. Dino might get here. Too close. Way too close. I don't know why, but staring into a bonfire always seems to calm me down. This island gives me the willies and makes my willy want to curl up and hide. But when I stare at this fire, I feel relaxed. More than relaxed, actually. Uh, safe. Makes my willy want to curl up and hide. To be honest, it is an incredibly good turn of phrase. Because everyone knows what I... <laughs> yeah, everyone understands that. It's It was really effective. Cool. That's only natural that that happens. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Mankind and fire have a shared history with one another. Fire can bring disaster and ruin, but it can also bring light, warmth, and comfort. Perhaps those memories have been etched into the souls of all humanity. Oh, interesting. Can you believe the audacity of that man we encountered earlier? I tried to speak to him and he just flat out ignored me. He was rude about it too. Said his name was Hummel. I don't know. I don't think he was being rude. Maybe he had somewhere to be. Somewhere to be? We're stranded on a deserted island. Where could he possibly need to be? Yeah, well, there's all sorts of folks here. Like that stuffed shirt, Carlin, you know? Really, the only thing we all got in common is we were on the Lombardia when it sank. Everyone's different, you know? I know we're all different. <laughs> Let's just get some sleep. We got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. <sighs> They all seem to speak in their sleep. The maiden has safely arrived at the royal capital. I see. Where's Dana? I hope she's not causing trouble on the maiden's way. Dana has been closer to way, meditating on the maiden's direct orders. I see, and I suppose there's no cause for alarm. That child is growing into a beautiful woman, yet she still causes so many problems. I know the other candidates are working hard, but I think Olga will be chosen to be the next maiden. I can see it. An endless expanse of blue sky, sunlight shining down on the land. A soothing vision. The animals are... The sky, the forest, turning bright red. Is this... A scarlet vision? Man, I slept like a log. <sighs> Probably should have said this last night, but you shouldn't yawn in front of people. Huh? Nebels don't do that. No one does that. It's just common sense. Yeah. At least, that's what I think. D don't you agree? Oh, God. It's no big deal. But really? I think you two are starting to wear away at my common sense. Ha! <laughs> Being a noble little lady sounds pretty tough. Nearby event points will be marked on the map. Even more. Now, go ahead. Now go ahead and do more events. Sure, Mr. Paro. So you can rest at camp. That's what we need to do. Cook. We can make omelets now. Oh, we need mushrooms. I guess I better make some more fish soup then. And we need carry a capacity of nine. Eat up. We need white mushrooms. We have pheasant eggs. Another five status effects up. It's not bad. Right. Time to get out there once again. And see what plot points we have. It's a waterfall grotto there, but we've already been in there and we couldn't do much more. 
At least once we visit it as well, it will tell us how many people we need for each section. I mean, can I even make it to these areas? Like, I'd have to pull that down to reach here and here. I feel like most of the time I'm just gated away from going anywhere. Oh, we got a crystal at least, so maybe we can go back and check if there's a quest for Madame Nun. Uh, not really, by the look of thing. We've killed the Hyappas. Captain Barbalos, we've done the job. <laughs> Took care of the Hyappas, have you? Job well done. Alright, I'll give you a reward. Peace out again if you anything comes up. Great job, everyone. Sorted. We're going to Life Elixir. Gaining permanent HP by the look of it. We need to brew ourselves Never Heal Potion. We really need to find some bottles somewhere. Or maybe learn how to craft them. Thank you. Alright, so that's done. Where is Mrs. Nun hanging out? Over here. Castaway Village. I sense no presence of beasts here. Truly, this is a peaceful place. This land must be blessed with God's protection. Hmm. I must fulfill my duty as a sister. I was not a bother. Would you offer up a prayer with me? If you do, I believe it will help us all escape the island's safety. The island's safety. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. How are you? I am fine. Kathleen, Blacksmith, Hammer, Skelly, but kind. She fed me. Which is why you're hanging out. Of course you would be. Right then, walk back. In about a split second. There's actually a watchtower construction thing right outside there, by the look of things. But also... No, I haven't been to there, have I? Ah, that's the opposite side, so there's something around the corner going on. Interesting. Seems like the main quest might actually be above us. Yes. Yeah. My turn now. Yeah. Not at all the wrong button. Yeah. Yeah. I went directly upwards, sirs. If I carve out every one of these first, then I can switch over. I think there's another one left. Right. My successful break. Scully explore every corner. There seems to be a secret place either above us or inside and under. There's something inside that mountain. Probably above. Eat this. A good place to fish. Eat this. We're only level 16 is the bit that I find bizarre. Oh, from bad. Ah. Wind could be quite useful in time, but here's a spot to open up. Now, like enough people in the village. How much does it take? Ten. When one away. If you count Carlin not helping as usual. If we could get Carlin to help, we have enough. Which is the annoying thing that makes you hate him even more, doesn't it? They've played that mechanic well with him. Right, dodo things. I just wanted to know if they tasted good. A sweet remedy times free obtain. And hunting all the foliage we can. I thought that was a bigger bug then. He's going to hit me, but I'm going to hit back just as hard. We're entering Dodo territory. This skill is going to be so improved by the end of this. It's already leveled up once. She's supposed to actually jump off to get that treasure chest, but I'll find my alternate ways around. 
Leave it to me. Let's go. Is my imagination all these guys weak to being shot? Oh, bullseye means piercing, but then by the look of it, it also means a bit more. There's something in here. So that's via the boulder removal? A good place to fish. It is a good place to fish? I, I guess it is. Yes. I'm getting nervous. That, yeah, the line isn't as long as you think. I'm supposed to do that from below. There's a treasure right here. I obviously can't break through the floor, can I? I think that would be stretching it a little bit. I'm gonna turn Kyle into bait. It's a bit over the top, isn't it? He is a human being, still. Uh oh. That music. L look! Someone's built something here. A watchtower of their own. We need that ladder. A ladder? I think it might be a watchtower. See, it looks like it. You think that Hummel guy made this? No, this looks like it's been here since before we arrived on this island. But I think this was made long after the pirates came ashore here. Makes sense. Knots on these ropes are still holding. Does that mean other folks have been on the Isle of Cylon? I'm not sure. Let's scale down and see what we can find, Mr. Kristen. All those ships that are sunk. You know? I was one of them again. Let's take out these first. Just dash past them. Miss. It's fine. We can we can be just ultimately as good as missing each other. That works too, right? When that music kicked in, I thought some serious stuff was about to go down there. You know? What the hell are they? Wait, he just keeps going. Level 25 monsters, Nespus. An organic roadblock. You can even see them on the map. Yeah. And what is the best thing to use against you? Just getting close and using good flash moves, probably. It doesn't help when they can't even hit you in the first place. Straight through him. That was a much cleaner kill of that monster. Oh, should be fighting the stuff that's high level, really. Just in case, it just randomly hits me. Like, the level 18s hit me for 350 damage. I watched that suspicious, Mr. Kristen. Let's climb up and check it out. You don't want me heading onwards for now? Okay, I get ya. Let's go. Maybe there's some damage scaling based on level. That's what I'm wondering. Ch check this out. Messages. I sure there's a lot of notes. I see. Been here 20 days already. Figured I should start searching the island instead of waiting to die. I believe this is the south side of the island. While walking through the valley, I was attacked in the fog by a creature I'd never seen before. Fantastic beast. It reminded of stories I'd heard before. Now, this puzzle smudge. It's hard for me to read. Stories of terrible lizards from long ago. Ancient creatures called primordials. Primordials? What's that mean? Uh, obviously, based on context clues, it must refer to some kind of ancient creature. Huh? 
Afterwards, I tried to go to the northern region of the island, but the path was too difficult to traverse. Huh? Looks like I overwrote this note, signed it. Who's the author? I don't know, it's just a letter T. We've already found two notes from T. We've been finding notes here and there that are also signed with a T. And those notes have the same handwriting as these notes here. I'm certain that whoever wrote those notes also built this watchtower. Hmm, I wonder if this T fellow's still alive. Yeah, I hope he can help us. You're right. If you got it before we did, we probably knows a lot more than we do. It doesn't look like there's any other information here. Let's continue on our way, Mr. Cliston. Right. Let's go. It's gonna be loads we don't know about the island. I wouldn't fret about it too much though. I wish you'd be worrying forever. Hmm, seems the other guys have taken some damage this time. Oh, hello. Didn't want to get hit then, did I? But I've got loads of fish soup, so it should be okay, yeah? Fish soup's good. I got hit on purpose so my healing could be more. Honest. Oh, whoa. You can be stun locks. I could not move. I feel like I need to farm some more crewberries and stuff this way. Ooh, 400 damage. One hit. That's like a lot of her HP. It's quite crazy. So even messing up a dodge is not applicable. You cannot do that. Don't mess up. That's how this game is, yeah? But don't worry, I've still got my uh, swipe and kill option. It works while we've got skill points after all. Alright, we nearly reached this peak. That's a lot of enemies to go through again. Alright, that's the, uh, the small fry. <laughs> Run away! PJ, thank you for gifting a sub to honor. I, I just focus on flash moving everything. The stun is him. I'll be him. We're not getting crazy experience for each win, though. Which should be the nice thing. As we found ourselves another location. Why? Oh, they're thermal G vents. Chimney Rock. I thought they weren't man-made, but obviously they must be. Oh, well, I thought they were man-made. Obviously they're not. That's the correct way around, isn't it? Makes you wonder if I'm going to get any goodies for doing this. It's just good that she's the break person anyway. So we want to continue further up that way. And now let's head down this path. It's interesting how I've just taken the plane with her Just swiping through every enemy. We've got another Remex there. Oh, no, not you again. Oh. 
Look, they really got hit then, didn't it? Oh, got hit. Didn't mean to. I see that Adol's been hit as well. Adol's on 23 HP. I do wonder if they get hit essentially when you get hit to kind of like simulate a bit more damage across the fight. He's got paralysis as well. Actually, this guy's going for Adol. Right, level 17 reach. Cool. And all that for a few sweet peppers. But they are of a higher rarity, it seems. I just don't have anything I can cook them in to make them good. No worries, honey. Lock me in my room, it's fine. Thank you for bearing with my noise. And she's beautiful. So I can be cooler on a hot day. Alright, let's continue upwards. These guys are going to jump on me. I wonder if anyone's getting bored of my repetitive use of that move. But it's so good. It's good because it's a strong movement option. Oh, I can't get up there now. There we go. There it is, it's an egg. You just haven't done to get to, I guess? Maybe I'm supposed to jump off this, though. Flexible branches, didn't even get an egg. This game does appear to be huge, yeah. We've already been so many places. Add all levels up. This is just like an area. But the areas feel nice to explore. And it is because of the gameplay. The action RPG element. Oh, hello. It's one of those things again to the right hand side. Ah, it's crazy deep. I can't get any closer to the edge. Now with my legs are not with my legs are shaking like this. What spectacular canyon! It appears to divide the northern and southern regions of the Isle of Silen. Why what's on the other side of that mountain? It's taking up the whole sky. I, I really hope we don't have to go that way. That's one hell of a climb. We still need to search the eastern region. We can look for a route north later. Yep. That's not a problem. What the hell is the level of that bug? 25. See, the game is naturally trying to herd me into certain areas. What's down here? Nothing at all. Never one of those in the wing, guys. I won't kill you for now. We're going straight past this way. Man, I got hit way more than I wanted to. Plus, it's all flying bugs, so you know she's perfect for the job. So what it's doing is allowing me to dodge these enemies by going up and round rather than fighting the level 25 ones, or test my luck versus them. Whichever one I so prefer. However, I have gone past an objective point, which is a bit of a hmm... And I can jump down here. Yeah. Oh, I can jump from here. Hey, how do you take care of the captain's request at all? I want to build a watch staff, Castle Village. We should focus on that since it's important to the village. Oh. I maybe forgot what we were supposed to be doing. That over there. And that down there. But how have I managed to miss both? 
There's all this stuff over here too, which I thought is like where I want to be doing. So basically by missing one, I've missed a little too much. Oh. But that's like inside things. How am I supposed to get to there? There's no obvious way to make it, you know? Or well, at least I don't see one. Oh, it's right there. How did I miss this bit? I've got... I'm sure I went there. I just didn't talk to the blooming tree. What the hell? It's a truly majestic tree. But if we cut it down, it'll provide some good lumber to use for building. Don't you think this would be perfect for making a watchtower of the village? Yes, I agree. I just walked past that objective marker, like, no problem. Right, the next marker is back in the crazy place, isn't it? So how did I pass that as well? Slightly wondering how I've managed to do all this. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I run from Big Dino again. Yeah. No. Yeah. There's something there. Yeah, we went up there. It's past the Big Dino. How do you intend me to get past him? I still can't go across there. Okay, that's the beach. I want me to go that way. Take the next left from Big Dino Man. Oh, where's the dino gone? That's more worrying, actually. Like, no joke, where the hell is the dino? <gasps> I don't think that's reaching there. I think that's going that way. Like, I need more people to be able to get there? Dino retreat us. Maybe the dino can't see well in the fog. Something tells me that's not going to be true. That's where I need to go. A whole path I haven't done yet. How did I miss this path? Well, mainly just continuing on the actual main storyline path. Well, what I thought was exploring happily, fighting enemies. And due to that, pretty much missing everything else. So this is where I need to be. That's such a good skill. Don't know how I'm supposed to hit that. I can't jump high enough. Alright, the materials power I mentioned should be around here somewhere. I think he was talking about these rocks. Let's see. These rocks are rather dense and durable. I think these will do just fine. Yeah, <laughs> guess that burn you're always talking about. Last, we scouted all three locations. It's just like the captain said. Bringing all these materials back to the village is going to be very labour intensive. Plus the dino. Yeah, we got reports to the captain. I found a new area and everything, and I'm not allowed to go past. Sad times. There's something in the tree. Okay, what's here? Treasure that treasure chest is insane. What is it? That treasure chest is something special. What's it going to do? 
bestiary potion? What? What do you intend for me to do with that potion? View a target's item drops and receive the following effects. Max HP 100, strength plus 3, defense plus 3? What? Is that like a buff or a permanent buff? I'm so confused by some of these potions. They're not the normal, here's a straight status buff, you know? I'm sure every time she says that, that she's saying somebody's there, but she's actually saying something's there. It gets me every time. Miss! I think we should go back, don't you? Now that we finally explored the way. I did get this, right? Yeah. Obviously not got the stuff I need, but finally I can go back now. Well, I guess I got too caught up in the exploring side of things and didn't do the everything else. We got a watchtower, though. Hmm, I saw you covered all the nearby areas. You even could use the materials? Great news. Alright, I'll talk to Doggy right now and we'll get started. And so, under Captain Barbaros' direction, the job was underway. Materials were transported, compiled and prepped for assembly. After the wandering round. Every member of Castaway Village, including Adol's exploration team, worked together to complete the job. Apart from... Carlin! What a... After several nights of hard work, the watchtower is finally complete. Will we be attacked again now, do you reckon? <laughs> Magnificent! Look what we accomplished! It's so inspiring. Hmm, people can achieve anything when they put their minds to it and leg it past the dinosaur. Hmm, surely this is a blessing from God. And yet, the splendid watchtower is not our only accomplishment. They made a small flower garden. And improved some other stuff, which is good too. We also planted the garden and even improved the kitchen and rest areas. I never imagined we would accomplish so many things at once. It just goes to show what's possible when everyone works towards a common goal. It also helped that those locations have way more materials than we expected. Me, I find them! Better thank me! Yeah, yeah, we heard you the first time. Haha, <laughs> we just seem more united than before, like we've become stronger through this experience. Yes, we've really... <laughs> He's gone up there, hasn't he? Nope, what's he doing? Exit! Most excellent, I say. He's the only exception. He didn't lift a finger to help us. At least he stayed out of our way and didn't slow us down. Uh, I bet that stuff shirt just saw how hard we were and took the hint. I hope you're right. Regardless, we accomplished our goal. Now I'd like to point your attention to the new barricades protecting the village. Doggy, you can do the honours. Ha! <laughs> Leave it to me. Indeed. Ah, proper barricades. A bit higher on the walls. I've seen those walls jump pretty high. Thanks to the extra materials, we are able to fortify our existing barricades. But our work's not done yet. Not when the beasts still pose a threat. To keep everyone safe, we need to stay on top of fortifying the barricades. We're also looking at adding more lures and other new structures to defend against raids. Basically, we can never have too many materials. So keep them coming, because I'll find a use for them. Not a problem. Collect materials to fortify Castaway Village against raids. Fortify the barricade, fortify and install additional stockades, fortify and install additional lures, fortify and install catapults to damage enemies, and fortify and install stun gongs to stun enemies and increase morale. Can I choose the layout? Alright, I think that concludes everything. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. We can stick Carlon on the lure. I suppose we should resume searching and exploring this island. Yeah, we've got to check out the canyon in the valley. I was looking there. A great job. Alright, bait times five is obtained as well, because we needed that. That's what I wanted the most, you know, more baits. 
We just got the lactical resin to get now, really. I wish. You see my request? Yeah. Don't have the lactical resin yet. Sorry about that. What do you want to enhance? So you just increase their power, but also they're not installed. So it depends what you want to choose. A catapult kind of makes sense, but do I actually? Oh, Periodic lobs rocks to inflict damage. That's kind of cool. Takes the Guang Wang Wa Piercer. Let's, let's add a catapult, eh? All right, I got it. We got a catapult. All right, it's done. Lovely catapults. So increase enhancement, add to burn effect. Materials I do not have. Be nice to have both, wouldn't it? Stun Gong's now going to take a little bit more. If only I could get another Guanawanga Pincer. If I could find a Masterfish, that would probably work quite well for me. The Stock could be improved a bit more. The Lures cannot. Oh, you can increase the number installed with red meat. All right, I got it. So that adds five. The problem with the Lures is it means right, that multiple done. enemies are going to these places, which is a bit weird. Roger, give me a sec. Get a better Stockade. Because technically you want them concentrated right, in one place, so they come to you. Alright, can you increase the number installed as well? Roger, give me a sec. I've got iron, may as well use it. All finished. One additional stockade has now been installed. We've got tectite ore a little bit. We can increase the number installed them even more. The barricade itself affects castaway village's All fortitude. Right, That's basically HP then. Probably All the most right, important one to upgrade. All right, I got it. All Kylan finished. Pulp. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, I got it. Keep plugging All these materials finished. in. All right, now it needs warm lumber and a tectile ore. I don't know who's going around warming their All lumber, right, but still. 